What's going on today, guys? It is Friday, November the 17th. Welcome to Ghost My Vlogs. Been a while since I did a video. Seems to be the theme every time I uh, put a video up. I have to say it's been a while since I've done a video because I don't do many videos anymore. Why am I home today? Well, the wife went in for surgery, so I'm just here to make sure that she's okay. She's just resting up and uh, I'm just putting around the house and if she needs me, I'm here. Uh, I'm a truck driver, so when I'm out on the road, it's not easy for me to get away and come help her if she needs help. So, you know, uh, it's easier for me to just take a sick day and stay home with her. And then uh, if she needs me, I'm here. She just has to uh, text me or we got walkie talkies. We come in, I need help for a second. So there we go. But uh, anyway, we're just out in the garage right now. Uh, I tidied up in here last night, did some moving of things around. I'll show you. And you guys remember uh, the TV used to be right there. I uh, kept the board here, the sticker board. I haven't been doing much with that lately, but uh, I moved the TV up here and uh, we went ahead and we hooked up satellite to it. So now I can come out and uh, watch hockey games and whatnot out in the garage, which is gonna be kind of nice. So I'm all set up to be watching the game and stuff, which I did a little bit of last night. And uh, yeah, but you're thinking to yourself, well, holy Jesus, it's winter time. Like, do you want to be sitting outside and fucking watching the game in the freezing cold? Like right now, it's, uh, look how cold it is right now zero one degree celsius and uh you know about 34 fahrenheit i think it would be but uh well i picked up a little friggin heater for the garage look at that a little propane heater works great 50,000 to uh, 80,000 btu heater i snagged it up for uh i snagged it up for 50 bucks on uh, one of the facebook classified sites and the guy even threw in a uh, a propane tank with it it's a uh, 2014 stamp tank so it's good till 2024 he thought it was expired but no it's not expired the stamp is when they revalved it not when it expires so that's awesome we'll do a little bit of a review here i think not a review yeah i guess a bit of a review so currently you see the temperature back there we're going to uh, fire this thing up and we're going to see how fast it can heat up this garage. Yeah, this is it here. We sell them at Home Depot. $159 plus tax for uh, one of them. So I think I did okay. And uh, it's got some decent reviews. 12 by 16, little to no insulation, works well. 30 to 46. Yeah, so I don't know. It's got some uh, good value for the price, say 540 square foot garage. Thing heats uh, in less than 10 minutes, good quality, so we'll give it a go and uh, we'll see how she works. I Nothing is closed in, like the only thing that's insulated in this garage is, this wall is insulated because the house is right here, it's an attached garage, and uh, half of this wall is insulated right here. From there over it's not insulated, like you can see the light coming through up there, that's the soffit. Everything's wide open, so no uh, no insulation pretty much here. Like I just, when we were doing some renovations in the house, I just threw some leftover insulation like in parts of the wall and just scrap pieces of drywall, just threw them up there. But the soft, it's all wide open. Um, and then as you can see, my garage door, look at the light coming through. So, and uh, light coming through up there because there is enough ventilation up in the roof area. I don't have to worry about carbon monoxide, but I want to, I wouldn't mind clearing this, like closing this gap off a little bit because it is very, very drafty in here. But as you can see, so this is just gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here as far as, uh, as far as, uh, you know, how insulated it is in here and the gaps and shit we have letting cold air in. So it's all going to factor into how fast it warms up the garage. Um, this unit is a 50 to 80,000 BTU, so when it's on low, it's going to be 50. When it's on high, it's going to be on 80,000 BTU. So we're going to fire it up. We're going to start it on 80,000, and uh, we'll see. Uh, so we're going to put the stopwatch on. We'll fire it up. We'll put the stopwatch on, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But I'll show you how to start this thing up. It is a reverse left-hand thread. Um, the regulator, it screws in the inside of the tank, so... If you open up the box and you see, oh, well, that's not going to fucking work. It doesn't go on the outside. No, it's an inside thread, left-handed. So you're going to crank this on. Did a scrap run. I got this barbecue tank with a barbecue. <laughs> and it's full. 
it expires next year though. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, crank this open now and then you take this here and you push it in for a couple seconds and then you're going to turn it. There we go. And we're going to turn it all the way up to high. As you can see, that's how she works. It's actually kind of, you know, of where we were talking last night, me and the wife, and we'll be able to use this in the gazebo up at the trailer in the, in the early spring and the late fall to kind of keep us toasty warm in there with all the curtains closed. Put it on low and just have a little bit of, be like having a campfire in there. But anyways, we're going to start this thing up. We'll start the uh, stopwatch and uh, we'll uh, see how it works. So there you go. There's the temperature now, and when we come back, we'll check it again. Alright, just went outside, farted around with all that Halloween and Christmas stuff, and uh, I'll show you. This is where we're at, 59 minutes. I know, I know, it shouldn't have taken me a lot long to do that work, but I was just going slow. <laughs> so, we'll see where we're at now. 59 minutes, and we got uh, 20 degrees in here. And keep in mind that uh, this garage was stone cold. It hadn't had any heating going on in it since last night about 6 o'clock. Yeah, there we go. So what I would do now is I'll just come over here. Turn this right down. Oh, it looks like it's already turned down. I don't know what's going on there. but Maybe it's got an automatic something or other going on there. Because when it gets to a certain temperature maybe or something, it turns down on its own. I don't know. Unless the tank's running out. No, there's still lots in there. Oh. That was kind of weird. Shook up the tank and then it started cranking again. Maybe it's just because it's free, because it's so cold. I don't know. You can see the frost on the tank. It's about, right now it's about, oh, about half full. When I started, when I come out here, it was probably about here. Actually, I think it's closer to about there right now because you can see some frost. I shook the propane tank up a bit and it started going crazy again. So I don't know. Anyways, that's what we got. That's what we're, we got going on here. It's uh, you know about an hour heated up to uh, 20 degrees. So I'm pretty happy with that. I was talking to the wife. We might go and get another. Uh, I might just go put a new strip on the bottom of this door and maybe I'll see what I can do for the outside. I don't know, because it's a steel door and it's a one piece, it flips up. Um, it's hard to, to do any sort of uh, insulating or whatever. I don't know, we'll figure something out, but. All right, so after doing a little bit of research, I figured out that it's the small tank. What happens is it's using the propane fast, which is cooling the liquid propane further from its boiling point, which causes the frost to build up, which causes, and then that like that also causes less vapor or something and pressure, I don't know, which means that my heater isn't going to work where it should be, which explains why when I shake the tank, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure this one out. 
this tank's frosting up real good so we'll uh We'll have to figure this one out. I don't know if it's maybe I can turn if I turn it down, it'll give the tank more of a chance to warm up. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm gonna turn the heater off now because it's 20 degrees in here, and I don't really need to be running it uh, if it's this warm. So we'll turn it off, and uh, yeah, we'll see if it uh, defrosts. Just part of the game, I guess. So if you guys have any advice for me, um, like advice to prevent the tank from frosting up like that, um, I'm wondering if it's maybe because, maybe if I leave the tank outside, I, it does have a long hose and I could run the tank outside, I could leave the tank outside and just run the heater in here, I don't know if that would help being cold outside that way it wouldn't you know the temperature change wouldn't be so different i don't know i don't know if that makes change if that makes a difference being warm in the garage the propane's cold causing it to freeze i have no idea i don't even know i don't know how it all fucking works but uh see if you guys can give me some advice all right that's about it for now just wanted to do a little bit of a review on this for anybody who was thinking about getting one for uh their shop um you know, it, for what it is, you know, it's it's pretty decent. I think it works well. Um, being propane, it doesn't stink. Uh, I, I was looking at getting a kerosene one, but I was worried that of the, about the smell. And uh, yeah, this does everything I could ever want it to do, especially with the garage as drafty and poorly insulated as this. Yeah, so if you like the video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. So until next time, guys, keep it scrappy.